According to a report by Insurify, a Massachusetts-based insurance marketplace, the average annual premium for homeowners insurance is estimated to reach 1,784 bucks in 2023, making a 9% increase from 2022. Talk about inflation, right? Back then, the average premium was 1,636 bucks. Now, this expected surge in home insurance premiums in 2023 is yeah, you guessed it, on top of a 7% increase that we had last year in 22. Average premiums this year are expected to be more than 250 bucks higher than 2021. Inflation is one of the main factors, if not the only thing, that's driving up the cost of homeowners insurance. Now, Colleen Finn, a managing director at Boston-based insurer Plymouth Rock, explained, quote, the same inflationary pressure that is driving up your grocery bills is now driving up your homeowners insurance rates. It's costing more and taking longer to repair your home, increasing the average cost per claim, and ultimately the cost of homeowners insurance for everybody out there who owns a home. However, experts say that more catastrophic weather and natural disasters due to climate change are also driving the homeowners insurance premiums higher. Insurers are facing an influx of water and fire damage claims in particular. Certain areas are more prone to severe weather and FEMA assigns risk ratings based on the likelihood of natural disasters. Now get this, on average, home insurance premiums for properties located in areas with very high risk ratings are 3379 bucks, whereas premiums in homes in low-risk areas runs about $1,387. This is according to Insurify's estimates. Regardless of whether your home is located in a high-risk zone, your homeowner's insurance premiums can be affected by natural disasters in other areas, as insurers may operate across multiple states, hiking premiums in one area to offset the cost of what's happening down in Florida and California, I mean other states. In addition, some states are more expensive than others. Insurify found that the 10 most expensive states have an average home insurance premium above $4,000. These states include Nebraska, Texas, Colorado, South Dakota, Kentucky, Kansas, Alabama, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and Florida. In other words, hurricanes and tornadoes. I'm shocked that California didn't make that list with our fires that we have out here. Anyways, Florida has the highest home insurance premiums in the nation with an average premium of 7788 bucks. Maybe you have low taxes, but man, your insurance is through the roof. This is 437% higher than the estimated 2023 national average. Now, according to Insurify, Florida's average last year was 4692 bucks. I guess you can say they got an increase in their premiums. This year's projection represents a massive 66% cost increase for homeowners in the Sunshine State where they ain't smiling about this. Florida is grappling with a home insurance crisis caused by rampant fraud and and legal system abuse, with the state accounting for 80% of the nation's home insurance lawsuits, according to a nonprofit, Insurance Information Institute. Several insurers went insolvent last year, and dozens more either left Florida or stopped offering policies in the state. According to the Wall Street Journal in 2016, State Farms General Insurance, which provides fire insurance to 20% of the state's homeowners, proposed raising rates by 6.9%. The insurance commissioner at the time, Democrat Davy Jones, instead ordered the company to slash rates by 7%. Yeah, way to go, Davy Jones, and rebate consumers $100 million. Boy, you want to run insurance companies out of the state. That's a great way to start. Small wonder then, right? That insurers avoid this process and instead quietly pull back from the market. You've heard the term snafu? You've heard the term foobar before? Well, they both apply to the state of insurance in this country, a solution that is desperately needed and it is quickly spiraling out of control to the point where everyone is going to be paying a heck of a lot more than they currently are unless our policymakers start to get this thing in hand. The best you can do is obviously contact your Congress people and let them know that you don't want to wake up tomorrow and see your insurance policies double, be it in housing or any other form of insurance. Hope this helps. We'll see you guys tomorrow and make sure you share this with your clients. This is great information for them as well. Later skaters. Hey, want to remind everybody, uh, this upcoming Thursday, which is like right there at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, I'm going to be rolling out a brand new webinar that truly is starting to address the issues that we're facing in 2023 and beyond. You want to be a part of this. Reading the tea leaves of the market, understanding the direction, and taking precise and countable actions in order to succeed. If this is you, then be part of it. Just click this banner, register, and I'll catch you Thursday tomorrow at 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time.